Hi everyone and welcome back. So let's talk about Redux Toolkit example. We will write it from scratch. Okay, so let's say to understand this, we can start with very basic to-do app, okay? From there, we will build the complex applications. So first thing is we have to create a store, right? And uh, so what we can do is we have to wrap everything inside the provider. I mean, we already have this root component created. So here we'll just use provider and we'll pass the store to the provider. And then we'll just close everything inside a provider. And then let's say we are going to create a couple of component like in the to-do app, I'm going to create a to-do input to do input component and to do list component okay that i will import so here we also need to get a store from somewhere so we can create a simple folder create a directory store and we can also create another directory for the components and inside component we will create a to do input So we'll import these components from there. To do input will be coming from to do input folder. So we are inside components to do input, and similarly we will get import to do list. To do list. Okay. I mean we will we'll create these components. And we are also getting store from somewhere. So import store from we already have a store folder inside this. Let's say we are going to create a store.js store.ts. So inside store we'll create a store dot ts and another file is uh, because we are going to create a slice. Let's say call it as a to do's dot ts. Okay, we have created all the files needed. Here we need to pass the store which we are going to import from there. Okay, now it's just about a matter of resolving these three files like creating the store. Let's go to store dot ts. Now, if you remember how we were creating a store. The simple logic is we have to just call the configure store. So configure store and here it was taking object and inside the object we are passing reducer. And let's say here I'm saying to do's and there is a one reducer I'm going to write inside the to do's dot ts. Import to do's from to do's and we are going to write reducer here let's say first let's say do that first we are going to create a slice so export interface because we have to initialize the state so we have three properties inside us uh, to do object to do string message is also string and completed is also uh, not a string it's a boolean and then what we have is const to do's equal to create slice so we are doing create slice inside this we can pass the whole object and here we can pass the arguments okay the name is to do's and here are the initial state oh it's not taking initial okay we didn't import the create slice that's why we can import it or uh, let me do a quick fix if possible yes it will work and then if it is imported then it will automatically using intellisense 
so this will be empty array as to do's we have the interface to do so it will be an array of this interface and here we will define all our reducers inside reducers okay let's say add to do what will be the impact of this on to our state so we have a current state we have action and there is action type okay state we already know inside this action we are going to do a couple of things an action is of type payload action okay it's payload action of type simple string and here we already know what we need to do in the add to do so we have the state object right so uh, we will access the current state state dot push and here we can add a new to do i mean it's like an object so id uh, we already imported uuid i think we are getting the uuid we are getting a message because we already know what all attributes this uh, is going to have completed is false message we can get from the action dot payload okay action dot payload that's it so we have created a simple slice and we'll just do export default to do's and then we will import it in our store so this is our store we will add a couple of more methods inside reducers so store will become to do's dot all the reducers we have to do's dot reducer so this is our store and we have to actually export the types because we are now writing a type script export type app dispatch equal to type of store dot dispatch and export type app state these are the two types we can export uh, and this is going to be a return type of type of store dot get state it should be get state and then what we are doing export default store so from here we are exporting the store the thing which we needed so store dot ts <coughs> So this is our store and store is importing everything we need and now it's all about writing the components so we can go to the component and let's go to our index.ts here now we are getting the store now we just need to create on work on to do input and to do list right and we can also add a couple of more methods here inside our to do's like uh, we already have add to do there can be a couple of more methods okay delete to do so i will just copy and paste all of these and what all we can have we can have something like sort okay in that case we don't need an payload we are fine with state and we can simply do is state dot sort and i think sorting we are doing based on the message so a b and we can simply do the sort a dot message a dot message local compare i think there is a method and b dot message so this is just a simple sorting then another thing is we do have complete to do what it will do it will have a state and action so we can simply first of all find which to do you wanted to complete and then we just mark the completed to be done
so for this so first of all we will do a state dot filter we are looking for something where the to do dot id is not equal equal to first of all we will just do the filter on the the state oh, okay sorry this is a complete so in this case we can simply do is find complete to do and this can be done using state dot find to do and we are looking for to do dot id but that is equal equal to the action dot payload okay so we got the complete we got the to do which we wanted to complete so we can simply do is complete to do dot completed is true simple and return state similarly if you wanted to delete to do what we need to do is we just need to do a state dot filter so instead of dot find we can return the same return state dot filter where the to do dot id not equal equal to action dot payload okay this completes over all the methods inside a create slice we have add delete complete and sort I mean, we can now it's all about how we can consume all these methods onto the UI. Okay, let's go to our component. We will write to do input. To do input is nothing but a simple input text. When you are submitting that, we are going to submit that to the to do, I mean, the Redux state. So const to do input equal to this is a functional component so react dot fc this functional component and what we are doing is let's import all these things import react from react we are writing to do input component and we are going to use use state hook to maintain what the user is typing and we can get uh, the dispatch because it's a functional component and we can use these hooks dispatch is of type app dispatch and we are going to get it using use dispatch this is a hook using which we can trigger the action to the redux store so this is value uh, let's call it as input and set input this we are going to listen for the changes happening inside a text field and state is initialized with empty and here we can write a simple form Write a form and on submit we will do a couple of things. On submit of the form, either we can write the code here or we can write a separate function. So this is the event object. And first of all, event dot prevent default. Default prevented stop propagation prevent default. This is the first thing done. We will do a simple dispatch. Dispatch. So, to do's, we are going to import that dot action. So, first of all, import to do's. So, import to do's from. We have to move outside store and then there is a to do's file. 
so what we are doing is to do's dot actions dot add to do here we are actually passing the whole action we don't need to create simple separate actions file and here input dot value input we already have inside a, a component state and once that is done set input to empty value and we'll just add one simple text field that will do all these things inside this form this is our simple component so input this is input set input value even dot target dot value okay our simple component we have created and then export default this component to do input okay now we can talk about the to-do list here we are using dispatch dispatch is helping us to dispatch the add to-do action now all the other to-do action we are going to see inside a to-do list like the complete delete sort and all it's all about iterating onto the list so first of all we have to get the list of to-dos so to-do list we have to export the same and here inside to-do list we will still use the dispatch like we also wanted to do the sorting and mark the list complete here we will get the to-dos using use and we will use use selector to access the state from redux store so this is my state which is app state and from the app state i wanted to access only I mean we do have only one single property right now but state dot to do's so I so I have state from this and then state dot to do's okay so this will give me the, the list of to do's now what, what is left I can just iterate onto them and render the list and show some kind of a checkbox or something like that where you can click and mark a particular to do's complete so it is a do some class like okay to do list now what we will do is we are just i going to iterate on to do's to do's dot map i will access a single to do And here we will return JSX. So here I'm saying is there is a div, we'll pass the key which is to do dot id. And inside this div, we'll wrap everything. So let's say I have an input checkbox and then button and all these things. And then I do also have some sorting mechanism. So I can simply put my template here so we can just understand the logic and move forward. So what we are doing here is class name, we'll take a look on to this later. So we are passing key and then here we have the input and we are importing the to-do slice that we have to import. So import to do slice so we have to go inside store and then there is a to do's. So to do slice, what we are trying to access, we are trying to access the actions. So we can also export the actions directly from here. 
here you can say we are exporting this to do slice and from there we are getting these actions add to do delete to do complete to do short okay like i mean it's better way that you should export the actions from this itself here only so export all the actions like uh, export const equal to to do's dot actions right and what all actions we are you are returning sort create sorry delete to do add to do and there should be one more complete right these are the actions and you can import them directly instead of doing to do's dot actions dot create and all and you can simply say is complete to do delete to do something like that add to do we need i think this is sort add to do we need in the earlier component so here we are showing to do dot actions dot add to do no we can simply say is okay access add to do from the slice because we are exporting only the actions required actions so you can directly say is simple add to do instead of doing to do dot actions dot add to do okay so this resolve our everything plain and simple we can just remove the unused imports and this is simple redux toolkit demo and we can just think about the stylings this is simple sorting we can delete okay so this is all about a simple example using redux toolkit okay i hope uh, this really helps in understanding how so now if we see the difference what we are doing we were still use we were uh, now here we will see the actual difference earlier also we were using use dispatch use selector there is no much difference right use selector use dispatch we were using the only difference is how we are creating a store and how we are exposing the actions and the reducers the way of creating the store is now different here we are creating store using configure store and inside the reducer because this will tell us from which place we can get the the values from the store so it's like store dot to do's dot some property right and here inside the slice we are exposing all the actions we are defining the this is considered as a reducer which has actions inside it so how we are accessing the actions to do's dot actions and exposing from here so we don't need the actions separately we don't need to worry about immutability of the redux store we are just doing state dot filter whatever is there it, it is populated in this uh, store here we are just accessing only single comp, uh, to do and just marking completed true and returning the same state right so this is pretty much thanks everyone